We can change the world And I believe Change begins with you and me There was a king in the Middle East who commissioned a poem because he wanted to be remembered for all of his rank and his riches, and he commissioned one of the best poets he could find, and the poet wrote, Al-Khaylu wa Laylu wa Al-Bayda'u ta'rifuni, wa Saifu wa Rimhu qaddasi wa Qalamu, ana iladhi nadra'i amal al-Sha'ri wa asma'at kalamati man bihi samamu. Mutanabbi wrote that the desert and the camels, they know who I am. The sword and the spear, the pen and the paper, they all know who I am. I am the one that makes the deaf to hear my poetry. I am the one that can make the blind to read my prose. Nobody remembers who that king was. Nobody knows, but they all remember the poet. Because he said, we know who you are. And your identity will be remembered, not by your rank and not by your riches, but because of what you did and because of your poetry and because of your message. And we have a message here today. It's not just for President Obama and it's not just for every member of the Congress, but it's also a message to ourselves. How dare you encourage anybody right now for the sake of riches or for the sake of rank, to stay in the closet. <laughs> so long after you're gone from this earth, and long after all of the things that we earned while we were serving, they will all be forgotten. Yes. And those that aren't even born yet, will look at us and say, in 2009, when it was your turn to fight, when the battle was yours to be fought, what did you do? Did you say, you know what, we need to wait? Because there are so many other priorities that we need to deal with. Did you say, let's not march on Washington, let's not demand, let's not come out of the closet because your rank or your career is worth too much? That will all be forgotten, but your actions and your poetry and what you send to those people that aren't even born yet, that will be remembered. And we want to tell them that when there was a time when discrimination was still rampant, we did not accept patience as a plan. We did not accept silence as a strategy. We spoke up and we told and we will continue to tell. so many people and on CNN I must have talked about some of my friends and it's quite a possibility for myself that I get an other than honorable discharge where I won't be able to reap the benefits of my service to include the Montgomery GI Bill, veterans home loan benefits or even going to a veterans hospital with a certain kind of a discharge. I know there's many here that have suffered that or worse. Well, one of my friends from Iraq, an Iraqi doctor, he helped to rebuild his hospital. He said, I've seen some of your stuff on YouTube. And he told me, brother, I know you're gay, but I still love you. And if your country that sent you to my country won't give you medical benefits, won't let you step into a hospital, won't treat you, then you can come to my hospital in South Baghdad any day, right. and I will treat you. Because he knew about the sacrifices, and 
he said, how dare your country, when you would put their country, when you would put that country first, and as so many of us have put America first, why does America continue to put us last? And we answer in return that we will never ask. Now is not the time for asking. Now is the time for telling. And we will tell, and we will never stop telling. He also told me that he loves this poem that I always recite at rallies or on TV. He corrected my grammar. <laughs> he said it rings so clear and so far across the oceans. Intahar amama shamsanahar. Wintahar amama kamara theat wa kawaki. Wintahar haitu la shams. Wala kamara. Wala kawaki. Lakin inta abd the men to hip the enna to hip. Winda abd the men you hip the enna you hip. You are free. You are free. You are free before the noonday sun. And you are free before the moon. And you are free before the stars. And you are free when there is no sun. You are free where there's no moon. You are free where you can't even see a single star. But you are a slave. You are a slave to the one you love because you love him. And you are a slave to the one you love because he loves you back. Gibran Khalil Gibran says this, and I know it. I have fought for many things, and I know that freedom can be very expensive. Take it for somebody who has been to war, and now take it from somebody who understands what it means to love. Of all those things that are worth fighting for, our love is certainly worth fighting for. Our love is worth it. Thank you. Right to love we're fighting for. I believe that we can change the world. When I was in the military, they gave me a medal for killing two men and a discharge for loving one.